los primeros cinco años fueron un solo trabajo de guión. De script. Only five years script. Uh, luego ya eh, un año de storyboard uh, y arte conceptual. Y los demás ya fueron de eh, la parte tecnológica. Eh, nos retrasó que tuvimos que parar dos años porque se nos cayó un financiero, un socio financiero. Y lo que hicimos fue que todo el acabado se hizo al final. O sea, no, hicimos, no íbamos haciendo el render de una escena y al final el render de otra, sino que todo el render se hizo hasta el final para que tuviera más o menos algo parejo. So, because the production stopped for two years, it was it was very strange. The the change we had we had some changes. So, we began working with soft image, for example, and everything was done in that. And uh, it was um, the rendering was thought for that uh, for that pipeline. But then um, after the two years. We changed the studio where it was being made, so a lot of things changed. So we had to change the pipeline, uh, and uh, for example, some things had to change into Maya now, and going to a different pipeline. Um, yeah. Um, convert all the files. Yeah. So we had to convert a lot of files, make a lot of uh, make things match. Just just make the transition. Yeah. The longer the, the movie would take, the more we were worried, and what the, uh, if it still would be up to um, up to date. No, but we were kind of lucky because uh, before, just before, uh, the the industry was evolving so fast. If you look, for example, the first Pixar movies, no, the one with the bee or something, even way before Toy Story, no, the way the, the Stone Age of 3D, no, and how things, how fast th things evolved, no, uh, and then and they finally came to kind of like a to a halt that all that this whole um, development it was everything was developing so fast and then we, we kind of reached a certain uh, standard industry standard of a 3d movie which was established mostly by the big american studios no and then after that there were still little technolo technological advances mostly like uh, uh, how to do water or, or fur or stuff but but you couldn't see i mean If a movie was made in, I don't know, in 2004 or 2005, didn't matter that much anymore. So that that was kind of came to, came was um, was lucky for us because then, because then the movie kind of we, we had but when we when we did the rendering and when we started to uh, work on that, it, we had already had kind of reached a certain level. So, um, so that was um, that was good in, in a way. Uh, to pick up on your question. Um, Concerning the, all the characters you see in the film, um, I've never worked on um, on a movie that had as many characters. And I worked on a lot of features. Uh, there are like there are 80 characters. That's like that's like uh, a total nightmare for for animated feature because uh, for especially a 3D feature because they all have need to be built, and modeled, rigged, and textured. So uh, usually, I mean, even in the big the big Pixar and DreamWorks pictures, you don't have as many uh, characters. And all the characters, they they all they came all out of the head of the director, Carlos Carrera. You all imagined those. So, mm. so, they so um, they're actually not based. They're actually not based on. They're not, they're, they're not designs really. That's how the the director explained it to me. Since he's not here, so I'm just uh, I just wanted to let you know because I thought it was really interesting. So he he, he didn't go about it about designing characters. But he was kind of rather visualizing uh, clinical cases, like, because they're, I mean, they're all nuts, no? So you, you try to imagine what, what kind of clinical cases are they, how would they look like? So it's a really interesting approach, I think, because usually for us as designers or animators, we always think about visuals that, that look beauty and attractive. But it, I think it's, it's more behind what we do, why we do it, but what's behind that, no? I think, That's much more important, and that will also define the design.